What's up guys? So what's growing on? We're here about uh, mid-February. I say mid-February. I think today's the 10th. I just did a greenhouse follow-up video for you guys and I'm going to do a little bit of a chicken system follow-up. Tell you about my egg layers, tell you about my meat birds, tell you about our plan for 2021 here going forward. Hopefully I can keep my voice above the goose because he's getting a little bit loud all of a sudden. They weren't do that when I first came out here. So over here on this side of the farm, this is my west flock. These are our Easter eggers. Um, you know, these are our egg layers. These are not meat birds. Um, I, I do not even have an electric charger. Um, haven't had one working in this area for about six months. Really funny story. Um, you know, you guys hear we talk about those ant stations all the time. Got them all over the farm, especially in the nursery. All the ants have shifted over here to this side of the farm. Um, and they actually took out both of my solar chargers. Um, one of them kind of works. One of them's completely out. Um, I really probably just need to replace the batteries or look into them a little bit because I'm probably maybe pushing it or risking it. But what I will tell you is I've had zero predator problems. Um, you know, these African guard goose that we have in here, um, game changer. You know, no issues with foxes, no issues with possums, no issues with raccoon, bobcat, coyote, you name it. There's something going on out here in the middle of the night, and these guys have woke me up a couple of times. Um, they're going to make some noise. They're going to chase them off. So I'm not saying you can get away without the electric fence, but what I am saying is somehow I've gotten away with it for a pretty good amount of time. Um, and these guys are fine. So we actually have a couple of roosters in here. They're going to end up getting pulled out. Um, I don't really, I probably just need one. They're starting to fight with each other a little bit. But you can see my guardian goose. This is a uh, drill bit. And the roosters are beautiful. Um, Easter eggers make beautiful green eggs. So we're getting green eggs, white eggs, blue eggs, brown eggs right now. It's really quite the trifecta. Um, I have these guys in a smaller netted area compared to the other side. And something that I've started to do to really offset the feed um, is dump old mulch in here. I've gotten some really good results when I put it in. I mean, the, the chickens absolutely go nuts. They freak out for it. They start scratching, they start pecking, they're fighting over the worms. Um, so every day when I'm coming out, if you guys just saw that mulch update video, here's my mulch mountain. Um, you know, when I'm over here moving this mulch up or moving it down to that end of the berm, I go to that old pile over there. So I have a pile over there that actually comes specifically from a guy, a friend of mine that does stump grinding so it's well more broken down it tends to have a little more dirt in it a little bit more of like a compost like material i grab a maybe a half a scoop quarter scoop um and dump it in here about once a week and you could see so that's the one i dumped maybe two days ago this is five days ago this is you know eight days ago 12 days ago so every four to five days i put a half a scoop um i'm gonna do a couple more around this one and then i'll reset the netting um and it's just another, you know, offset of the feed, giving them something else to snack on, to scratch at. Um, they also get in there and do their dust baths. So these guys are doing really, really good. Um, can't wait till my grass starts growing again. I have a really hard time establishing that ryegrass out here in full sun. In the shade, it does awesome. Out here in the field, the only places I could get it to come up are on the edges of the, uh, of the shade. It would not come up out here in full sun whatsoever. So I have no idea how they do it on those golf courses because um, I know for me, I can get it going in the shade, but everywhere I've put it, like in front of the other nursery, it just doesn't get going. So uh, I was hoping to have kind of an alternate cover crop for them this, this winter, but that did not work out. So what I want to talk to you guys about on this side, um, as you all know, I did meat birds last year for my first time. I ended up doing the Freedom Rangers, and I think we got 50 birds. I processed 44 of them. We still have a freezer full of birds, mostly ch chicken soup is what they end up being. Um, it was a really, you know, uh, awesome experience to go through all the steps of the process. I ended up keeping about a half a dozen birds and one rooster. Everybody told me they would never lay an egg, their legs would break. Um, I was originally kind of thinking with that rooster that I could breed them and maybe hatch my own Freedom Rangers. Well, <laughs> I didn't do enough research, didn't know what I was doing. That definitely didn't work out and actually the rooster did end up getting some kind of leg injury he ended up being chicken soup somebody took him home um, but what i will tell you is is all of the ones that i have out here now are laying eggs um, almost every single day so you know these are another batch of egg layers totally unexpected these are supposed to be meat birds um, you know they're just happy chickens everybody said they wouldn't last longer than six months you know i had some uh some feedback on these when it came to them, you know, actually being an egg layer, um, living past a couple of months. They're only bred for one reason. And this guy right here is kind of mean. 
Um, this is Gordon. The other one's Drillbit. And out of all of my uh, my geese or goose, you know, the, the gooses we have, this dude attacks me. Um, I got to be kind of careful. Hit him with the hose every once in a while. Kind of keep him in check. I like to pick him up and hold him and kind of try to show him that alpha dominance, but it doesn't work with him. He'll still come at me the next day when I let him out of the cage. So he's a bit of a butthead. He's over here making some noise right now. Um, but yeah, so Freedom Rangers laying eggs, not supposed to happen. It's happening. So kind of cool. Um, I do give these guys compost and mulch also, but what I could tell you is, is the egg layers over there are way more about scratching, pecking um, the mulch compared to these guys. They like almost turn their head up to it. These guys are food snobs. I think they've been a little bit spoiled. So a lot of that I'm sure is in the raising of that chicken. If you're raising them on compost, mulch, scraps, um, alternate feeds, you know, those are the types of things they get used to. These guys were raised on, you know, organic feed. So that's what they've been used to. They don't seem to really want to be transitioning over. Look at this guy. You are pissed, huh? Huh? What? 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 Did you all see that? He was trying to get the camera. This dude is mean. Um, total guard dog. So, hey, you know, I guess that's why we're having no problems with predators. So, definitely a game changer. Um, I can tell you as I'm getting ready to put an order in, I'm probably going to do like another 25 meat birds here in spring. I'm going to get those around April. Um, probably finish them sometime in the summer. So, waiting for the grasses to come back. I'm going to do one small batch. Definitely not going for another 40 pack this year. That was a total uh, a job. It was a little bit of work, a little bit of feed. Also realized that I don't need that many birds. You know, we're only doing this for personal consumption. I'm not selling these. And you know, something else I want to point out, and a lot of people had put in the comments, you know, I, I didn't do this to save money. Um, you know, I, di I didn't do this for, you know, cost savings at whatsoever. You know, this is definitely not cheaper than buying chicken. Um, I did this because you can't buy this stuff. You can't buy this quality. Um, you know, it's night and day when it comes to the, uh, the bone broth. It's night and day when it comes to the flavor. Um, you can't even compare the two, you know, compared to the organic chicken I was buying for 20, 25 bucks. Um, you know, these guys cost me 25 bucks to raise. I say these guys, I'm talking about the ones we already harvested. So this is definitely not something to save money. Um, if you want to save money, you know, just stick to buying at the grocery store. But if you want, you know, to know where your food came from, if you want to know what that animal ate, if you want the highest quality possible, that's when you start raising your own birds and doing this in your backyard. So going to be doing a new batch here in spring, kind of excited. I'm going to try putting them on a compost pile. So I'm going to try putting that netting around this old pile over here and see what that does. See if that gets them up on the pile, scratching the pile down, pooping on the pile. I'm going to try something a little bit different. I do have a third coop that I bought about six months ago, um, which was the idea was to get another goose to make another flock. But honestly, I'm like running out of room. So the, the new coop that I bought um, is a little bit smaller than this one. I can tell you I'm getting tired of looking at the white. I'm getting tired of looking at the camouflage roof. I'm going to put a tin roof on that. And I'm probably going to put some black or brown panels on the side and try to make it a little bit more camouflage and so it doesn't stick out as much. Um, the white is breaking down a little bit with the sun. A couple of spots, you know, where the screws have gone through, those PVC panels have cracked. So I'm really just, I only went with the PVC panels because they were ultra light. Um, another reason why I'm not covering the whole thing in metal just for weight reasons, for moving it around, for dragging it, because I do just pick it up and move it across the yard. So pretty excited to be going forward here. Um, show you guys what's coming up under these guys in spring. I had a lot of feedback. A lot of people wanted to hear about this. This is Premier One electric netting. Um, I bought these coops off of a guy down in Fort Myers. If you guys are on Facebook, he lists these on the marketplace. So game changer. Um, had a lot of people ask too, and I'll say it for another time. I use New Country Organic Feed. Um, it's just a non-GMO layer. It does have some corn in it, but it's a non-GMO corn. Um, chickens seem to love it. You know, I've tried a bunch of different organic feeds and some of them are just like powder or dust, where this one is a lot of grain, um, a lot of whole pieces in there. So the chickens seem to be really happy with it. If you guys enjoyed this chicken video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and do so. Most importantly, what do we do around here? Huh? Pounder. <laughs>